Hey guys and welcome back of uh, well me struggling with that little Honda Rebel over there and um, and a carburetor We're trying to make it run right. <laughs> welcome back. Before we start however, um, guys super thanks all of you for jumping into the comments and trying to uh, throw the suggestions at me of what can be the cause of the problem, uh, what can be causing the issue of the carb for the bike not running properly, well not like revving properly, that's basically the main issue. Um, just a quick reminder, the bike runs fine, it goes through the gears fine, it starts okay, it idles perfectly well, uh, I can feather the throttle all the way up to the high revs and that's fine, but when I rapidly twist and open the throttle, it just stalls. Um, as we all discussed, it's probably a uh, carburetting problem or a uh, fuel problem, not enough petrol, fuel starvation, everybody jumped on this and that's most likely what's causing the issue. On the previous episode, we replaced the carb, we play with the, uh, we cleaned the old one, there was a couple of at least different variations of uh, setting up this carb. Um, today we're going to explore some of the suggestions you beautiful people made and hopefully we get to the bottom of it. Let's do this. Many of you suggested it could be an air filter problem, either it's too small, too big, it's blocked. Um, it's not blocked, it goes over here, I open the case, I run it air filter alone, I run it with a pot filter, I try to reduce the amount of air is getting in there and increase it. Um, that's not the case, so it's not the air filter, it's going to be somewhere here. This setup is still set up with the uh, new carb and uh, that extra fuel filter over there came with the new carb so I just kept it there. Uh, a lot of you saying it's too long. Yes, it's too long, it's temporary measure. However, the shorter one without the secondary filter uh, in the original carb, it still wasn't working properly. One of the reasons I set up the um, clear kind of um, secondary fuel filter over here is to see whether I got any crap uh, coming from the uh, main filter which is there in the tank and indeed I do so that's probably uh, one of the reasons the bike is not driving properly. One of the reasons I didn't check the original um, fuel filter which is in there is embedded inside a petrol tank on the top of that uh, petcock is I checked the fuel petrol flow and as you can probably see from over here petrol flow is really good. No issues there. However, I will inspect it. I will double check it. Another thing you guys suggested is to take apart and clean the old carb. And the old carb has been cleaned before. I just double checked it. There's no gunk, no rust, no residue inside. And the jets looking nice and clean. Don't know if you can see through them. Uh, you can see through this one. This one is tiny, but I can see through it. I can blow through it. Um, so it all seems to be okay over here. There's no diaphragm to be worried about in this bad boy. Um, but there is a needle which lots of you suggested to drop uh, or maybe lift. Lift is going to make the run richer. And I'm going to do that next. There is a needle that was sitting inside the, uh, um, this carb over there. And we've got one, two, three, four, five grooves. Don't know if you can see it over here. Okay. Try to focus on that if camera is good enough there are five grooves in this in this needle and the washer sits in exactly in the middle which i'm guessing it's right from the factory they set it in the middle so you can either uh, enrich in the uh, the mixture or or with well, another mixture um or make it lean or make it a bit more rich you know how depends how it runs if we uh, lower it down the needle will sit higher which means the more petrol will get to it if we uh, put the clip towards the top and the needle will sit lower which means less petrol will go through because it sits in uh, in the main jet over here and basically allows the uh, petrol to spray in or whatever the black magic happens in there so what I want to do I want to raise it slightly up and I'm guessing I need to drop it down one maybe even two notches um, yeah, I'm going to drop it probably one notch first and then we'll see what the performance of the bike is going to be like. I can always take it out and uh, to put it back to original or reduce it even further. Okay, so we got one original carb, the old one, uh, fully checked and rebuilt. 
and the original needle as well that sits in the carb it's raised by one notch uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this carb back on the bike because um, it was running slightly better with original carb anyway uh, and it's original I just want to keep it simple for now um, let's put it back on the bike uh, and we see what happens Okay, and the last bit of the equation is I'm gonna get some fresh petrol for it. Guys, catch me in about uh, seven minutes time. And I'm back and I got three and a half liters of fresh, brand new, finest quality, Morrison's, no commercial intended, petrol. Let's see if it helps. So we're back to the original setup, I mean the original carb with needle raised by one notch, make the mixture richer basically, because needle is higher. Um, and we eliminating petrol tank, I've got auxiliary petrol tank over here, with fresh petrol, um, everything is pretty much set up as it was originally, so let's see what happens. Okay, a little disclaimer. It actually took me a number of attempts to get to this point. I did it off camera. Uh, the idle speed wasn't right. The idle mixture uh, wasn't right either. It took me uh, probably a good half an hour uh, messing about with them. Two settings really, uh, two screws um, to get to this point. Um, see what happens here. It is much better, it's running much better, um, uh, it's still when I yank on the throttle really hard, it hesitates and it just died in the end. Uh, however, if I do it just a little bit gently, uh, I don't need to feather it anymore, I do it gently and it kind of hesitates and it goes to the full, um, full throttle. Uh, it's freezing cold outside, it's really late, uh, I'm not going to take it for a test ride just yet. Um, if I warm up the engine properly and it's running still kind of hesitating, I'm gonna raise the needle um, one more notch, uh, the last one, put it on the, on the final one to make it uh, the richest possible in this carb setup and then we take it from there. But before I do so, I wanna take it properly, warm it up, take it for at least 10 minutes run, stop and go and uh, have the engine of properly operating temperature and yeah, I'll be able to take it from there. Hope you can hear me okay. I was brave enough and hooked up the um, petrol tank to it with the uh, old, old, same old, four months old probably, original petrol in it. Um, it's it's running, it's it's running okay. Um, you can rev it up just fine. Like this, however, when I Gunk on the throttle. On the throttle, it just just not quite the same as in the fresh petrol for obvious reasons, I think. Um, not always, though. See what I mean? It's once I crack it open, it just not having the same effect. Although if I do it slowly, it's absolutely fine. It was it was running slightly better with a. Fresh petrol. I mean, I'm guessing bike like this, very small cylinders, they're gonna be sensitive to good quality petrol. Uh, lots of you suggested this petrol in there, it's four months old, all those new biofuels, you whatever bullshit kind of thing. They're not exactly great for uh, sitting around for quite some time, and it went stale. It's not the best quality now after being four months inside a petrol tank. So, again, doing it gently. It revs absolutely fine. Why if I want to yank on it, it's gonna stall. As it just is now. So what is it? Um, 
I think like uh, a lot of you suggested and taking all the comments to consideration it must be combination of things uh, the carb on its own I think is fine the original one um, so I leave it be um, old stale petrol definitely um, the needle sitting a um, little bit higher to make it to make it richer the mixture richer that's definitely uh, a way to go forward I raised it only one notch up uh, which made a little bit of a difference I think I think I will have to do uh, raise it all the way up to enrich the mixture to give it more petrol basically and that should stop that you know yanking on the throttle that should just rev up straight away at the moment it's dying like it's starving of petrol um, I think it may be one of those uh, but I wait uh, for another day um, as I said it's freezing out there it's late uh, I'm gonna ride around on it get it to the right operating temperature get it to the petrol station fill it up with fresh petrol again um, and yeah we take it from there all the further adjustments uh, I'll be taking from there I'm gonna end this video over here guys um, just to give you an update it's not over yet we're gonna come back to this bad boy um, we don't need to have you know beginning and end of every video you know it's an ongoing process uh, and I know you're looking forward to it so I don't want to um, prolong it any further because I'm not sure what tomorrow I'll have time to mess about with it and then there's the weekend and all that stuff and from two days extending to over a week and I know you guys waiting for an update so here it is we're moving forward once again thank you very much for your input uh, hopefully uh, we're on the right path um, the next video I'm going to show you what's happening when I fill it up with fresh petrol uh, get it up and running properly um, I'll raise that needle again see whether that make a difference see whether that's gonna uh, improve the ride um, and that's about it for today guys uh, I spent good five hours here today playing about with it uh, not a waste of time at all, I love doing these things, I'm sure uh, you've got a man cave like this, a garage, that is a time machine, you come in for five minutes and all of a sudden it's uh, midnight, <laughs> hands up who's been there. Anyway guys, as always, thank you very much for all your input, you guys have been amazing, um, supported me on this little, little thing over there, I uh, hope this video helps somebody out there with uh, troubleshooting you know, issues like this. Um, but yet it's not over we are much better now but it's not over yet uh, we're coming back in hopefully part three 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 um, very very soon so I'll show you uh, whether these adjustments uh, taking effect in the real world and real riding situations or not uh, but until then guys thank you very much for watching as always rock hard have a be and we see you very soon